Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, earthquakes continue hitting during this watch period, and a new paper seems to suggest there are multiple people on the same wavelength. Starting with an update, yesterday we saw the filament snap, and today I can say it did not make an Earth-directed CME. Some ejecta spit out sideways, but that may have even been partly from a different eruption. It was so late in timing. The only eruptive feature on the Earth-facing disk the last day occurred amidst the sunspot hiding embedded in the northern coronal hole, or at least its northern closed field area. We'll watch this sped up as well. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we'll find 193 angstroms concurring with the calm star. We've still got the coronal hole stream coming from the northern opening, still got some plasma filaments set about, including a massive complex of plasma incoming at the limb now. Eyes on it. But alas, still no solar flaring. The Earth-facing quiet is dominating the northern sunspot group, eliminating all smaller umbras and refusing to allow magnetic mixing. It says a lot not to worry about big sunspots directly facing Earth. Solar wind. Density continues to fluctuate even as speed in yellow evens out. Magnetic character of the solar wind remained in significant flux as well, including a couple dips in and out of south-pointing polarity. The reverberations and slight perturbations continued in defiance of the expected calm, and Karuna is showing readings like we're still in a big sun storm. Easy killer. Of course, while this enormous coronal hole just begins to swing its backside into view on the left, we do expect a continuation of the moderate level earthquake uptick. Let's look at the OLR to find a bit of an anomaly outside the tropics where we're used to seeing them and the gradient here cutting up to the east side of southern Kamchatka. That's the area in between earth spots as well. Rare to have OLR match it so perfectly in a 6.4 struck midday exactly there, along with one well above average for Hawaii, worth noting. Looking ahead, we've got a failing Earth spot that could produce seismicity depending on whether he runs east or west. Top story today, folks, this paper calls for a better way to look at sunspot data. Right now, it's just numbers, and the size doesn't get counted, even though NOAA does measure their size and track that data. Well, folks, we had a similar idea for the Disaster Prediction app, so not only are we rewriting the sunspot number to include number and size of the sunspots, we will also have a rate of change factor to show intensification or quieting of an extreme nature. This paper is nice, but the real deal is that it appears many in the field are already thinking the same idea. Let's rework how we measure sunspots. Psst, we finished already. We got the rest of your pressure and radar forecast. Shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey!